Rock Computer College. Define quality training in information technology. Now let's look at working with slides now. We'll first look at how to add, delete, duplicate, copy a slide and much more. But first let me show you how to add a new slide. Now there are three ways of adding a new slide. The first one is by going to home tab, then clicking on the new slide command, the top half of it. Now, as you can see, I have two slides. So if I click over here, I'll add a new slide. I'll add, add that slide. Uh, the other way of adding a slide is by using a shortcut, Control M. So I have three slides. If I press Control M, I will add a new slide. And the other way is by right clicking between slides. So if I come over here, then I right click in between these two slides. Then I'll choose this new slide command and a new slide will be added. But if you've noticed, all these slides have the same layout. Now, if you want to change the layout of any slide, just select the slide, then go to the layout command over here. Press this drop down arrow, then select the layout that you want. You can select any layout and then it will be applied to your slide. Again, just select the slide. Go to the new the layout command, then select the layout that you want. And then it will be added to your slide. Now let's look at how to copy a slide, how to copy and paste a slide. Now you can use the shortcuts Ctrl C, Ctrl V to copy and paste. And you can also use these commands under home tab. So I'll copy this slide. So select the slide, click on copy. Then go to wherever you want to paste it, like I'll paste it in between these two slides. So I'll select the, then click on the paste command. And as you can see, I've pasted that slide in between these two. So that's how you copy and paste. And as you remember, you can also use the shortcuts, Control C and Control V. Now you can also duplicate a slide. So let's say I want to duplicate this slide again. All I have to do is Use the shortcut, Control D. If I press Control D, it will duplicate itself. Again, uh, the another method, you can just right click on it, then use the duplicate slide command from here, and it will be duplicated. So there are two ways of duplicating. You can use the shortcut, Control D, or you can right click and select that command from over here. Now, let's look at how to rearrange slides. It's very easy if you want to rearrange your slides. You just have to drag and drop. So select the slide you want to move. I'll select this one. Then just hold on it, drag it, and then drop it. Now that's how you do you rearrange rearrange slides. So you just select it, then you drag and drop it where you want it. That's how we rearrange slides. Now another thing it's how to delete. A uh, slide. So let's go to any slides over here. Now, in total, I have eight slides, as you can see. So what you can do: one, you can select the slide, then click the delete key on your keyboard, and as you can see, it's been deleted. I had a total set of eight slides. Now I have seven. So just select the slide, like I'll select this one, then press the delete key on your keyboard. Again, you can just select the slide, then right click and select delete slide from this menu. So if I select that, I'll be left with a total of five slides. Now let's look at how to adjust a placeholder. Now this is a placeholder. Now you can adjust this, you adjust it one, you can move it around. So if I hover and see this icon, I can move it around and place it where I want to. Uh, let's work with this slide. So I have two placeholders over here. So if I select this one, I can move it up a little bit, move this one down a little bit. So that's how you move a placeholder. Again, you can also resize it. I can make it larger, smaller by using these corners. So I can resize it like this and make it small. I can make it larger. I can do anything I want to it. You can resize it however you want. Then you move it. And then another thing, uh, lastly, I'll show you how to change a background style. 
Now, by default, the background in your slide is white, but you can change that. Just go to the Design tab, then click on the Format Background command. And from here, you can choose the, any kind of fill you want. There's a solid fill, a gradient fill, a pattern fill. You can choose whichever you want. So I'll go for a solid fill. Then over here, I'll choose a color. Um, I'll go for that color. Then you can choose whether you want to apply it to all your slides or to just one. So if I leave it at that, I'll have applied it to only that slide. As you can see, the other slides are still white. But if I come back and click on the apply to all command, all the slides will change color and the background will be green. So that's how you change background color.